Now let's kick off with the top story tonight where, unfortunately, uh, Kenya has lost 21 more people to COVID-19 in the last 24 hours as the virus continues ravaging the nation. During the same period, the country recorded another 1,080 new cases from 8,322 samples that are tested in the last 24 hours. A statement from the Ministry of Health indicates that 58 COVID-19 patients are fighting for their lives in the intensive care units at various hospitals around the country. The latest data by the Ministry of Health shows that 1,080 new cases were reported by Saturday from 8,322 samples tested. The figure brings the total registered COVID-19 positive cases in the country to 69,273. The number of fatalities has also risen to 1,249 after 21 more patients succumbed to the disease among them four medical doctors. The youngest is an 11-month-old infant, while the oldest is 100 years old. This even as 542 patients admitted in various health facilities across the country were discharged, 262 from home-based care program and 280 from the various health facilities. Currently, 1,185 patients are admitted at various hospitals. Meanwhile, Mandera County is glaring at a storm of new infections in the region as the county registered seven confirmed cases in the last 24 hours. Mandera Governor Ali Roba said the county has done everything to curb the rising number, including setting up bed isolation centers and public fumigation. We are now seeing a serious upsurge in numbers with more people now showing serious symptoms of COVID-19 compared to before. We've commenced mass testing. It must be known that it's only through community involvement in observing preventive precautions that we can defeat this scourge. Meanwhile, the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union has convened an urgent meeting Sunday to deliberate on the way forward after four doctors succumbed to the virus. Ben Chumba, reporting for Channel 1 News.